a few days. I let the pump dry up because I wanted to take a look and see what was inside in the water. So now that the water is evaporated, we can look and see what has transpired in all that muck. Hmm, looks interesting. Let's see if I can take this off of here without disturbing too much. Uh, hmm. Very interesting. It's weird how the I guess that's the the plate there is no I don't know that's part of the plate there and that's part of the plate black there uh, I don't know that's pretty pretty uh, gnarly though so there's more of it back there this side over here is pretty clean but this side here had most of the flow on it after the pump started clogging up after these ridges here started forming so let me let's see I'll take this one off hmm. let's see if I can pick this one up without disturbing it too much that's not too bad See now I got something built up on the the plate right here. No, let me see if I can get it so you can see it better in the, in the camera here. There's a white crystal on the top of the plate here. It seems to be pretty flaky. It seems to be pretty flaky. I don't know if that's like uh, calcium or or what. Um, now that is that is the, the distilled water that was in there. So that was distilled. The bottle, the the jug said it was a one gallon jug of distilled water that I got at a. national chain so um, yeah I don't know what that is but uh, see there's the other plate there I don't know if I can get I'll try to take this off and see if the plate just sits there yeah it does so the plate is kind of supporting itself there with what's left over of it it looks like about half of the plate is gone hmm let's see if I can pull the pull it up out of there and see what comes okay alright on the back side there it's still attached to the plate looks like a little bit got some some uh, holes in there a little rot I don't know I don't know if they glare from the I mean I'll turn this light on here see if it makes it a little bit easier to see what is happening that looks like a little bit of I don't know what that is yeah, I don't know what that is but that's what's left I guess that's what the came off of this plate here if we put the two plates together they all they started out basically the same size there I cut them by hand but they were pretty much the same width or height I should say 
Um, yeah, I don't know what's happening in there. Let me set this. Let's set that there. Let's take a better look at this. That's interesting how it's got this tail on it right here. It goes way out to there. That is interesting there. Hmm. It's like a ribbon. And then here at the top it did the same it did the same thing. a lot of like, crystals and stuff in there. It's just gleaming under the light. I don't know if the camera does that justice or not. I guess you can see it a little bit, but just looking at it, you know, without the, the camera, it's really glistening. It just it looks like it's just covered in little crystals in there. I think you can see that in there. Other, the little shimmering. Now, I don't know if that's probably particles from the stainless steel plate. It looks like, if we look at that, you can see the crystals in there too. But, um, that's probably, I would imagine, the remnants of the plate just scattered all over there. But that ridge right there is really and it's pretty it's nuts. I'll tell you what. That is wild. Now I did this once before, I don't know what else. Here's the container. Um, and this is what I got out of it. It's basically iron. Is what it looked like most of it, um, like rust and some black crystals, but uh, a little bit, you know, you can see a little bit of glimmering in there from the plate. There's, I think, it's a piece of plate actually right there. But I just, I just dumped the container out or you know, this, this dish into here. But it was real loose. This stuff here doesn't seem to be. Just a little bit right there is loose, but that's it. When I when I did this one the last time, this was all loose on the bottom of it. Nothing stuck to the glass. This time, it seems to have stuck to the glass a little, a little better. But that that ridge is like so organic. <laughs> Uh, it's just, uh, that's cool. That's cool. I don't know if anybody else is gonna, is getting off on this as much as I am, but I just think that that is wild how that, how that did that. It almost, like if you could be a half an inch tall and get inside there, there'd be like a ridge on a, on a mountain or something. It's like a, Really cool. Oh well. Well, I just wanted to show you what what ha what happened with the pump after it dried out and was it was left to sit after it ran um, for its duration because you can't really can't m run it much longer with that plate size right there in this pump after it gets like this because there's nothing left really on the plate to to uh, make contact you know the um, for the current to run through the plate because there's like nothing there so that, that is like the end of the run and that is what you get at the end of the run 
So I wonder if that's going to happen every time I, I do that. Maybe I ought to do another experiment and see if I can duplicate it and see what it looks like. See if it does the same thing. I have to start working on getting some other kind of material instead of that stainless steel plate there. I uh, use uh, copper in the past. Maybe I ought to try it with copper. Let's see what the copper does after it breaks down for so long because it uh, breaks down as well especially on the uh, oxygen side and that is what that is that is that was the positive that was the positive from the uh, uh, the output of the Bedini circuit so that's where the oxygen oxidization is happening and it really oxidized that stainless steel that's for sure so okay well I guess that's the end of my video have a wonderful day peace